Welcome ladies and gents. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the OFRF gear RDA by OFRF. As you can see the packaging, it shows you what the kit contains. This is the gunmetal color. It's the back of the box. This is where the company is at. So in your packaging you're going to get um, your gear RTA, um, you're going to get an acrylic glass, it's an acrylic bubble glass, just to increase your capacity from 2 mils to around 3.6 or 3.2 mils or so. Um, and then you're going to get two drip tips, one is a normal black one, one is uh, a smoke color acrylic as well, same to match the bubble glass as well. And then your Kia RTA, just push this up from the bottom quickly. This is the Kia RTA. You see a nice little small Eti airflow on both sides. Um, there we go, smooth airflow as well. And then inside your packaging, you're going to get uh, two strands of cotton or oh, your shoelace cotton, two pieces, a uh, whole lot of o rings, spare screws, spare 510, and you're going to get two quills. These are fused frame staple claptons. And then driver and obviously your user manual so let's just get this on out of the way the drop top I'm gonna use is the normal um, black one they sent so this one here you can see there we go the other drop top has a slightly wider bore. The drop tops are the same size, but the bore on the inside is slightly wider. This one has a ton of thinner bore. Let's get this out of the way quickly. Okay, perfect. <coughs> so your RTA comes standard with a normal glass, two moles of e liquid. the top of the RTA nice uh, pattern going on there showing the gear it is available in a number of colors um, blue gold um, silver black uh, this is your top of the RTA as you can see your top full there sorry I just cleaned out the tank uh, top full nice two big beefy kidney holes Machining on this RTA is absolutely phenomenal. It's great, smooth, smooth uh, machining as well. Let's just get the bottom off quickly. Okay. That's the inside of your chimney. On the chimney you have gear. And on the other side you have OFRF, name of the company. So this is the inside of, or oh, this is how the deck looks. Okay, there we go. You'll see on the side here, uh, so obviously you have four post screws. You can either put your coils in one leg there, one leg there, or one leg there, one leg there, immaterial. Either you can put your leads down or on top, doesn't make a difference really. Uh, I prefer to go down so the coil sits nicely in there. You will see on the side of your screws, uh, basically where the posts are, they have inserted ledges or grooves here. You look at it here, here we go, here we go. So this basically keeps your coil in place. Let me just open the screw for you guys quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So 
so this this here will hold your coil legs in place basically uh, when screwing down to tighten your coil down onto the deck Um, as you can see wicking is quite easy. I've already put a coil in here um, I'm using a normal fuse Clapton coil. I found that other coils get a bit too hot when or your more bigger balls get a bit too hot in here uh, The coil height or for maximum flavor on the coil. I found that coil height to be perfect from the airflow As you can see <coughs> I tried about four or five different balls in your up until date but the best one two date is the one that I'm using. The build is not very complex, it's a simple fuse clapton. Uh, so your wick will basically just tuck in here and lay on the deck. Let's uh, get this thing wicked up quickly and then we'll go up top and give it a vape quickly. Okay, so basically we have this wicked up already, there we go, as you can see when wicking, um, your cotton just needs to fill this wick port on the side, <coughs> sorry I was a bit out of focus there, um, just needs to fill the wick port on the side and lay on the deck on the inside, it's a, like a GTA style deck, so you can see from the side where the cotton is laying and so forth, very simple, ease of wicking is there, ease of building is there as well. I didn't find it very difficult to build. You just need to find the correct coil height as well as I've showed you earlier. So let's go up top and have a vape and talk about the tank a bit. Hi there ladies and gents, thanks for joining me. So that was a quick up and close on the gear RTA by OFRF <coughs> now let's run through the, through the pros and cons quickly of this tank firstly biggest con on this tank I would say is juice capacity um, 2 mils nah bubble glass 3.7 mils ok not the greatest but ok for me that's a con um, the drop top itself I'm not really a fan it's not very comfortable for me um, the drop top itself however the design of the rta very nice very good ease of building ease of wicking is there which is absolutely brilliant um it's not difficult to build the rta it's not rocket science uh wicking as well um i wicked this thing i i purposely went and just wicked it anyhow to see um if i'm gonna get any dry hits or leaking or anything of that sort and absolutely nothing so no leaking simple easy to easy to wick um, the fall on top is very nice as well uh, it's a cute little RDA I'll, I'll give it to them for that <coughs> okay so there's a few things that I'd like to go over the company OFRF um, a lot of reviewers or a lot of people have said it's made by Wotofu so I went further to investigate and see uh, if it's a subsidiary company. Look, there's no um, hard factual evidence on the net or on Google or anything of that sort to say that the two companies are linked in any way. The only thing I could pick up is they sh share the same manufacturing address. So judging by the packaging, judging by the amount of coils they give you, what type of coils they give you, your spares and so forth, I think it is a sister company to Tofu. I can be under correction though. Um, secondly, there has been a very, very big hype around this tank. For me, um, it's a good little tank, I'm not gonna lie. Flavor is there, flavor is great. Not the best of flavors. Um, oh, I wouldn't say flavor is great, I would say flavor is on average. Um, the thing that disappointed me the most about this tank was because of the hype that was built around this tank, I thought that it's going to be one hell of a flavor tank. And um, I was a bit disappointed in terms of what flavor I was getting on this tank. It's it's average flavor, it's not the same. Or it's not, uh, I wouldn't say it's living up to the hype that was created around this tank. I 
I tried variations of juice, tobaccos, menthols, uh, uh, fruits. Uh, I think it shines more on desserts because of the low, low profile. It is a slightly warmer vape. Okay, now I'm getting a cooler vape because I'm using a simple <coughs> bulb which is from Flavor Chaser, Fuse Clapton's. This is a uh, 226 wrap to the 36, fused to the 36. Cotton I'm using is titanium fiber. And the juice I was using is Panama. This is a uh, pineapple watermelon from Wiener Vape. Okay, so coming back to the RTA now. Um, it sits nice on your mods. I'll give it that. It's, an, it's, it's a look of an RTA. It's not too bad looking. I'm just not a fan of the drip the bears I've mentioned, but I want to draw your attention to an RTA that was released earlier this year. Uh, it's called the Freedom from Dove Vape. So I did an intense comparison between the two because I found this little RTA to be a great RTA uh, in terms of flavor. Um, I struggled a bit in the start to get the correct bulb, correct picking and so forth. Uh, but here we have it, the Freedom RTA. Now, if you compare these two RTAs in height, it's almost the same. The only thing is this RTA was not as hyped up as the gear. Um, I did a comparison. The bull decks are almost the same. Um, the glasses are interchangeable on these two tanks here. Um, the top part or the chimney of the screws onto the gear, it fits like a glove. So, I wouldn't say it's the first RTA of its type to come out. Um, there has been one already, it wasn't marketed or it wasn't hyped up as much as this. That's why a lot of people didn't know about it. Um, but I think I would rate Flavor on here a tad better than this. Slightly better. Um, <clears throat> that's what I found. I ran them both side by side, same coil, same juice, uh, same wattage, same ohms were reading on both uh, on both RTAs and I found this one just to be that much I found the, the freedom to be just a tad more uh, on flavor I'm not saying this is a bad thing um, uh, what I'm saying is it is hyped up so if you're going out after watching reviews and after watching um, how to build this thing and um, getting the general feel of the market before going out to buy this RTA um, I think it is overhyped. Um, in my personal opinion, I think it is overhyped. However, I'm not saying it's a bad RTA and flavor is dead on this thing. There is flavor, it is a good RTA. Um, but I wouldn't keep it in my rotation for very long. Very long. Now, a lot of people have asked how does it compare to the Dwarf RTA or the, the yeah the Dwarf uh, DL from Hungary, KHW Mods. No comparison. I wouldn't compare it at all. Uh, firstly, this RTA is retailing for around 560 Rand. The Dwarf landed here with customs and everything is selling for around 1.6. So you can see already the price difference will tell you the classification of the RTA so it's 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 like comparing a VW Polo to a Mercedes Benz it's there's no comparison on it um, yeah fair enough they both single coil and so forth I find flavor way better on the Dwarf um, Dwarf is I think it's it's one of my top three RTAs for 2018 um, when it comes to the gear I don't think it even benchmark against those RTAs uh, in my personal opinion <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the gear and I think it is overhyped. Um, if you guys have any questions, suggestions or anything of that sort, you guys are more than welcome um, to pop it in the comments below and I'll be more than likely or more than happy to answer your, your, your questions or any suggestions from you guys' side. Um, from my side, thanks a lot for subscribing, thanks a lot for watching. Um, it is festive season now so Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all you guys. Stay safe out there on the road and that's it from me. I'm out for this year. Thanks. Bye.